was killed while he was looking at something near that tapestry. unnatural. It perverted us. The others are content with that. But I've had enough. I decided to destroy the dagger. But I have to be cautious. The others mustn't find out about my plans. I learned that our pact was protected by Ifrit, a fire demon living in the dagger. If the pact is broken, it will be unleashed. I've scattered my records in case something happens to me. One of them is in Saeed's vault at our council villa inside a statue that I gave to him as a present. Saeed never knew I found the passcode for his vault. It was carved at the back of his head bust. He always was a practical man, if not that bright. So, Whitman wanted to destroy the dagger, and he knew how to do it. I saw the symbol back at the lobby of the house they dragged me into. Dagger is here. Better watch my step. Whew. For a moment there, I thought the fire demon would bust out again. Looks like that thing nap time's over.
It says sand from Ir Fatim, one of the last sand elementals. breakthrough. It won't be easy, but it's doable. The fire demon's weakness is sand. A sand elemental is able to counter the fire demon. In my work desk, I hid the crucial piece of information on how to find and tame a sand elemental. It's impossible to open it without a two-part key. The first one is hidden in the council sigil, and the second one I will be taking to my grave. My mortal remains will rest in a chapel at the San Francisco National Cemetery, Lot 127. I wish I could take some of my whiskey to the grave. It would make for a better afterlife.
Imbecile. Give me one good reason why we shouldn't get rid of you right now. Ex-cops can disappear just as easily as the next guy, and Fang was right. We should get rid of him. Go on. I'd love to see how you deal with the fire demon yourselves. At least I know how he can be defeated. Do you know? Well, I'm all ears. This is what we'll use against him. That's his weakness. Son, enough of this. He's taking us for fools. Then stop acting like fools. Mr. Wolf, are you saying that you can defeat the damned thing? I have the means to. What I need is just a bit more time, and the Fire Demon will be history. In that case, I believe Mr. Crumb and Miss Fang can forgive the intrusion of our privacy this one time. Go on then, Mr. Wolf. Destroy that demon. And don't return here until you've taken care of it. It was time to see what secrets I'd uncover inside Whitman's grave. Before I had a chance to take a good look, I felt something hit the back of my head. Everything turned black. And just like that, a horrible night took a turn for the worse. I don't know who's after me, but maybe I'm lucky and he left some clues behind. I know this print. It's the same as the one on Saeed's headscarf. That bastard tried to kill me. I need to call Marv now. Adam, that fingerprint is still not analyzed. You gotta stop call- Marv, I think my employer just tried to kill me. And he also might be the one who killed Whitman. His name is Saeed El Qadir. He's the owner of the Sakat Gallery. Shouldn't be too difficult to track him down. All right, Adam. I'm on it.
I jumped into my car and drove off to the Mojave Desert. For once in this case, the course was clear. The phone started ringing. Only one person calls me this time of the night, and it's usually not good news. Adam, we've got a location on Saeed, but he's out of my jurisdiction. Let me guess, he's in the Mojave Desert. Yeah, how did you know? I'll tell you all about it later. Thanks all the same, Marv. I drove all night long, and the sun greeted me as I entered the desert. It was all too cinematic. You dirty son of a... Mr. Wolf, please, be so kind as to back away. One way or another, you're gonna answer for your crimes. What crimes? You almost buried me alive at the graveyard? I found your headscarf. I did no such thing. Anyone could have placed it. You killed Whitman in cold blood. Bullet to the head. I'd never do such a thing. He was an honorable man, but more importantly, he was a friend. I saw you at Whitman's place, sneaking out of the house. What were you? Whitman knew how to get rid of the flame demon. I was seeking that knowledge for my own purposes. Things have gone too far, Mr. Wolf. All I want is to... Look out! I did not kill anyone, Mr. Wolf. Stay with me, Seed. I'll get some help. I wanted to destroy the demon, claim the dagger, live forever. How fool here, take the damned thing and put a stop to this madness. managed to distract the shooter just long enough to try a desperate move. I charged him, full speed, and managed not to get shot. As I jumped the assassin, one thing became immediately clear. It was a woman. You're the woman I met in Saeed's gallery. Why shoot at us? Talk fast, my trigger finger feels real itchy. Ugh. Fine. My name is Zafira. A few months ago, Feng and Crum hired me to kill Whitman. Later on, they hired me to get rid of Saeed. Then you showed up, and I was tasked to keep an eye on you too. I was supposed to wait until you destroy the fire demon, and then eliminate you. Were you the one who pushed me in Whitman's casket? Yes. I wanted to make it look like Saeed attacked you. Maybe you'd get rid of him for me. That would have been convenient. Here's what you're gonna do. 
Call your employers. Tell them that the fire demon is dead. Saeed and me too. And you're bringing the dagger tonight. Saeed has been dealt with. Yes, Wolf too. After he defeated the fire demon. I'll take care of the bodies and bring you the dagger tonight. Once I get out of here, I will kill you, Wolf. You're welcome to fail at that again. Two elementals in my hands. Shall I unleash you both now? The hell? Not just yet, little buddies. I have Crumb and Fang to deal with first. Fire and sand elementals hate being tin close proximity to one another. I hope I have enough time to get back to the city before they bust out. Crumb and Fang are gonna answer for the lives that were lost. Of that, I'm sure. The sun sank beyond the horizon, and darkness fell over Frisco, setting the stage perfectly for what's about to happen. Gunshots. They were shot in cold blood. This is quite a surprise, Mr. Wolf. I was expecting someone else. Tell me, has the fire demon been dealt with? He's gone. But your assassin couldn't make it. It wasn't my assassin. Now, drop your gun and take a seat. Slowly, Mr. Wolf. It was Whitman's death that broke the pact and woke the fire demon, wasn't it? Yes. Crumb and Fang found out that Whitman wanted to destroy the dagger. Acting preventively, they hired an assassin to deal with Whitman. The deed was done, and so the pact was broken. Later on, Saeed decided to destroy the fire demon. Crumb and Fang would have none of it. So, where did I fit in this whole scheme? They all wanted to get rid of you at first, but I maneuvered them into letting you live so you could destroy the fire demon. Once you did that, I would grab the opportunity to deal with the others before they got me assassinated too. Enough of the idle chat. It's time to bring this to an end, Mr. Wolf. Give me the dagger. There is one thing you didn't consider. And what would that be? Well, I kind of lied about vanquishing the fire demon.
the moment had arrived. I unleashed the sand elemental and kept my fingers crossed. He burst out in the blink of an eye, but the fire demon forgot all about me. His gaze instantly fixed on the sand elemental. The same could be said for the other creature. Whatever hatred existed between those two, it was palpable. They stormed at each other with blazing speed. The whole room turned into an inferno of fire and sand. This must be what hell feels like. The last I saw of the elementals was a blinding flash of light. I found myself alone in the room. It was scorched and devastated, without a single trace of the two that had just fought each other out of existence. That symbol, it's the same as the one on my watch. What could this mean? Picture of Allie. Wait a minute, what was her connection to Delacroix? Marv, I stopped him. All the madmen and their flame demon that spread fire through the city. I know, Adam. I'm not calling about that. It's about that partial fingerprint you sent him for analysis. So, what have we got? You better sit down. The results just came in. It's Allie's fingerprint, Adam. It's a 99.8 match. That means she's alive, Marv. She was at my home. Or someone wanted me to think so. This is a sign, Marv. I get a feeling that with each case, I'll be closer and closer to finding her. Adam Wolf, he is getting closer. Delacroix was sloppy. I predicted Delacroix's timeline. It's not a surprise. Do not worry about Adam Wolf. He has yet to walk some distance before our paths cross. And when they do, I will take care of him. <laughs>